Today, I'm going to be talking about someone who is very special to me, my little brother, Luke. He's a freshman in high school and he loves beauty and nail polish and makeup. He is taller than me, like he's 14 and he is six foot, which I think is insane, but it's also super helpful whenever I need something up high. Luke and I have never been super close. As kids, we never like spilled secrets or anything, but I did know that when I grew up, I was going to have to make sure that he felt loved and accepted no matter what and let him know that he's perfect just the way he is. He is always kind to whoever he meets and he tries his hardest to make everybody feel accepted no matter what. He isn't afraid to be himself and he seems to not care what other people think about him. He enjoys going to school and he loves scouts. He tries his best to be as good of a person as he can possibly be taking others into account before himself. He tries to make everybody involved no matter the situation, which is something that I really admire. Luke loves to do dance and do his makeup. He is always posting on social media all of these crazy makeup looks that I could never do in my whole life, but he somehow makes them look so beautiful. He has huge ambitions for his future he wants to create his own makeup line, inclusive for every person, every skin type, every skin color, every style. Um, he has big dreams and he has a plan on how to do it. He, I believe that he will go places in his life. I have never met a person, or let alone a 14 year old, who is this positive and has their future as planned out as Luke does. He knows exactly what classes he needs to take, when he needs to take them, what he wants to major in, what college he wants to go to, and what steps he has to make to do to make sure he gets where he wants to go. Unfortunately, not everybody likes his big dreams. He struggles with being bullied. Luke used to wear nail polish to school when he was younger, but the amount of bullying he received from his peers deterred him. Um, he feared for his own safety from their threats if he continued to wear nail polish to school. He couldn't wear nail polish because it was not socially acceptable for a middle school age boy to wear make nail polish to school. He also feared that the eighth graders and high schoolers would beat him up if he wore it. Um, Luke has always had a love of makeup, as I mentioned, ever since he was a little kid. Uh, when we were kids, Luke and I would dress up, put on princess dresses and pretend we were princesses ruling everything we could see. Luke and I had so much fun when we were kids. Luke wanted to wear makeup to school one time, but he didn't understand why my mom and I would not let him. <sighs> the truth is, I didn't want Luke to get beat up. We rode the bus with these super aggressive and super mean and loud and annoying boys who didn't like anyone who's not the same as them. They would bully everybody, but they would especially bully Luke. They would constantly tear down Luke over the smallest things, from the games on his phone to what he would talk about. I tried everything I could think of to stop these boys, but nothing worked. They would physically bully Luke, like hit him with various objects. They would flip his hood up and pull his hair, um, and he would tell them to stop and then would threaten to tell administration and teachers and the bus driver, and they would not stop bullying him. The administration did nothing about it. He kept being relentlessly bullied by these obnoxious boys who were insecure about themselves, be all because he was different from them. Luke has always been secure in who he is and does not care what other people think about him. One time, last school year, Luke saw this sixth grade boy who was wearing makeup to school in the hallway heading to the bathroom. Luke wanted to compliment this boy on his makeup. When Luke went into the bathroom, the boy hid his face in fear of Luke. By the time that Luke was going to talk to this boy, the boy had already left the bathroom, presumably scared. Luke is a pretty large boy. As I mentioned, he's six foot. He has some muscle on him from being a dancer. Um, this sixth grader felt fearful that Luke was going to beat him up. When Luke saw this kid at a different time at school, this boy again hid his face in fear of what people were gonna say when they saw his makeup. All Luke wanted to do was compliment the boy 
and ask him about his makeup and the boy feared for his safety and ran away. It's heartbreaking. Bullying starts at a young age, but is made worse throughout schooling. Middle school is, you know, the standard point when kids are trying to experiment and figure out who they are and what they want to do. And it is crucial to who they are. They feel pressure to fit in from their peers. I've always said that middle school is the meanest time of a person's life. And I truly believe that. If someone is different from what they think is normal, they will automatically go after that person and attack them because they feel that they need to make that person feel badly about themselves so that they will come form and fit in. There is the most bullying in middle school because of the amount of insecurities there are. It is so sad that people feel they cannot be themselves because they will get bullied if they try. And they're afraid to stand up for that person being bullied because they're worried they will get bullied themselves. Insecurity is the main reason behind all bullying, and there is tons of it in middle school. Boys face pressure to be perfect. Football players, manly, dating a different girl every week, you know, middle school things. The pressures placed on boys to be perfect can lead to insecurities, especially if the boy is not manly. Luke is the opposite of what you would think of as manly. Orchestra kid, dance, he loves science, makeup, you know, nail polish, not what I would call your typical manly middle schooler. The bullies pick on the different kids because it's easier for them. Why would you pick on the football player when you could pick on, you know, the dancer? Unfortunately, boys are more likely to bully people than girls. Additionally, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services states that boys tend to engage in more physical forms of bullying and sexual harassment than girls do. Therefore, being different and not what the ideal man looks like in middle and high school can prove unsafe and even dangerous. That discourages people from feeling like they can be themselves, which does not encourage individuality and freedom of expression. Bullying makes people want to fit in more, and they will do anything to avoid being bullied themselves. When bullying happens in excess, suicide can occur. Suicide is the third leading cause of death among adolescents, according to the Child Mind Institute. Third, LGBTQ youth who reported having at least one accepting adult were 40% less likely to report a suicide attempt in the past year, according to the Trevor Project. 40%. The impact of bullying later on in life is extremely terrifying. Bullying in middle school can lead to depression, anxiety, low self-esteem, and in some cases, self-harm. Kids feel sad and depressed because they get bullied for being themselves. As I previously mentioned, bullying stems from insecurities. The popular kids bully the not popular kids because they don't like people being comfortable with themselves and being different from what they think is normal. The kids who get bullied tend to not understand why they're being bullied. They're just being who they are. Society tells these kids that they have to be a certain way, and if they're not, they're going to get bullied for it. When something isn't the way that society says it will be, other people step in and are like, you cannot be different. You have to conform to what society wants you to do. The reason for making someone feel bad is so that they will blend in and fit in better. Bullying is seen as cool and popular because it's people it's perceived as being needed to thrive in school that is not the case children can learn not to bully those around them and not treat people differently just because someone has different hobbies than them there is something called the bystander effect the idea that someone can be suffering and other people don't do anything about it because they think that someone else is going to step in and fix it that is not a good way to stop anything I know that I would want someone to step in for me in that situation. Staying silent is just as bad as bullying someone because then the bullies think that what they're doing is okay and they can continue to bully more people. I've come up with a solution to the bullying issue. Educate. Schools should create programs where students are separated into small groups, age, gender, something, I don't know, sexual orientation, small groups, and taught about tolerance and how 
to deal with people who are different than them. Kids should be taught not to bully anybody and that all schools should have a zero tolerance bullying policy. This program can start when kids are in elementary school. That way it's implemented into their brain and they are more tolerant when they get to be Luke's age. Luke used to be very insecure and would care a lot about what his peers were saying about him, but now he's gotten so used to this bullying that he doesn't even register it anymore. It doesn't even phase him. He also says he's put up a wall and needs to get to know someone first before he starts opening up to them and get, letting them get to know the real him. Is that really a good thing? Is that what we want our kids to be like?